Item one, the agenda, the list of topics to be covered. Um, item one, item two, item three, item four, or just item one and two, or five, ten. There are meetings with 20 items, agenda items, multi-day meetings. So this should be very, very clear. And it also should be very clear, it's not just a list of topics to chat about. For each, should be very clear, what are we trying to achieve? Hmm? What's the purpose of each item? Again, it's not just a topic of discussion, like some sort of satsang or ishtagoshti, or even in ishtagoshti can be very, very structured. But should be very clear what you are accomplishing, trying to accomplish for every item. Possibly, if you don't have an agenda, probably maybe you don't even need to have a meeting. I mean, you can send an email, you can make a phone call. You can, um, you can have a conference call. But when you bring people in a room face to face, or even on a conference call, you should be very clear, very, very clear what, why you bring those people. Because those people may be serving Krishna in that time. So you're taking one hour from their service, one hour from their life, and you need to be very clear why you're taking that, that hour. Why? Yes? Uh, why, why a conference call uh, cannot be a meeting? I mean, it's, it's a, a... So why a conference call cannot be a meeting. Maybe we, we are in different countries, so we, are, we make a meeting. It is a meeting. It oh, is oh, a meeting. Okay. Yeah. It is a formal meeting, yes. And, and the same principle apply. Conference call, you have a list of items. What's the purpose of each item? So, yes. This sometimes happens. Frankly, I don't know why I call this meeting. So the agenda defines the boundaries. We are talking this, this, and this. We are not, unless it's something super emergency, we are not talking this, this, and this. Should be clear. Circulate the agenda in advance. People should be prepared. First of all, sometimes there are documents people need to read and even comment. Second, people need to have uh, the chance to think about the themes. Hmm? So they come prepared. They've done some thinking, they have some ideas. The agenda should be clear what we are trying to achieve, what's the purpose, and so people can become prepared. In other words, it's you as the chair, it's you as the leader who has the duty to inform people and getting them prepared and see that they are prepared. You would see one thing. When you ask them to be prepared, say by reading a document or commenting on an email or at least going through the agenda, and at the beginning of the meeting you check who is prepared, who is not, those who are not prepared, they, don't, they feel a little embarrassed. So next time they, they, they don't want to have that experience anymore. Not that you're trying to put people on the spot or intimidate them, humiliate them, but if it's a if it's part of the culture you create, that they need to come prepared, then they get the message. They get the message. And they may apologize, sorry, I couldn't read the document, but they do know that they were supposed to come prepared. Okay. Always include all business. What happened here is very often, very often, Meetings are like bubbles of reality. We construct a reality in a meeting, like parallel universes. You know the physics theory. Parallel universes. One meeting has its own universe, 
then you come to the next meeting, that's a parallel universe. We never discuss those things. We don't do follow-up. So in your agenda, please always, at least as a formality, put all business. This lady was supposed to do this. This Prabhu was supposed to do that. We have decided A, B, and C. Always include all business. Is that clear? How many of you have the experience that you had a meeting, even a good meeting, with decisions, outcomes, and so on and so forth, and then next meeting, everything was forgotten? How many of you have that experience? Yeah, so you see, it's quite common. And then it's a major waste of time. Even if the meeting was not a waste of time, but because you don't follow up, it's a waste of time. It's like planting tomatoes, but never harvesting them. What's the point? Stone okay, so, yes. So, sorry. You're a genius in this field. Do you have an, uh, short idea, an idea how to keep these old, old things like visible to oneself? Do you have a system? What kind of system? I would say mostly experience. Huh? Mostly experience. It's like you are like a mechanic. Huh? You see a car, uh, you're just hearing the sound, you know what's not working, right? And it's like, it's like a driving a car. When you don't know how to drive a car, you're just starting, you need to remember very clearly. Okay, you got to look in the uh, mirror, you got to press this and press that, and this is the gear. Right, I think we all, I mean, those who know how to drive, they have this experience. The first time you really have to consciously remember the steps. Huh? Look back, do this, that. Huh? But then when you know you're an expert driver, it becomes second nature. You can do all these things without even thinking. You can talk with a, a companion and just you go and you just do everything automatically. So at the beginning you may need a, a checklist. I tried really hard in this PowerPoint to keep things to the minimum, okay? Not long, long laundry list, do's and don'ts. You can keep this PowerPoint with you, just go through it. I really I really endeavor to keep it essential. So just, just go through, just a few simple slides, and then it, when you become experienced, it becomes second nature. You know, you know that it's a series of meetings, you meet every week or every month or every year, you know that, okay, we start with all business. There were assignments. Were those assignments done or not? You follow? It just becomes part of the way you do things. Um, Krishna, Kirtan Prabhu, and then Manohar Prabhu. I think the question was more on very practical way how to do it. So I understand the, like the answer could be to write the conclusions of the points of agenda and then the action points uh, could be highlighted so that you can visibly see the action points in the minutes of the meeting and just take them out for the yes, next Yes, very good. That's the fourth point. We'll discuss that, how to capture. That could be one way. Um, that's the way I generally use when I keep notes and I share the notes. I highlight the tasks. So then I already have the next call, next meeting. I just go to the highlighted part. Prabhu, you were supposed to do this and that. Maharaj, you were supposed to do this and that. Like that. Yes. So even if you have the old business not finished or not done, there's no need to go and uh, talk about the uh, agenda. Is that if okay? you have not done uh, the old business? Yes. Uh, no, it depends, uh, because some, uh, some of the present agenda items may not depend on those particular things. See, as a group, as a temple, say Brindavan temple, you have meetings about many, many, many things. So uh, you're talking about, I don't know, the Goshala, Prashadam Hall, deity worship. So maybe somebody was supposed to do something deity worship, but doesn't mean you cannot talk about Goshala. But this is also create the culture and the expectation. When you start with old business, people know that you start with old business. People know that if they have accepted certain tasks, they know you will remember 
the, those things. You follow? Because people, if they can get off the hook, uh, they're very happy about it. If they know that, okay, yeah, I did this, but I mean, I did accept this, but nobody will ever remind me. But then, you know, the tendency is to go for the path of least uh, resistance. So we have Manohar Prabhu, Rukmini Krishna Prabhu, and Dira Nitar. So, first thing that we do in the meetings in Radhadesh, we first go over the briefly over the minutes from the previous meeting. Yeah, all business. And yeah. then at the bottom of the minutes, there is a task list specific to each member. It's, it's, it's extracted from the minutes for each one of us what we have to do. And, and then we go over that. And something, whatever is done, we remove from there. Whatever is not, is moved to the next, to the ne minutes of the next meeting yeah. and stays there until it's done. Yeah stays there that's a very important thing it does not evaporate it does not disappear it does not become avyakta you know it was vyakta now is avyakta and you know i'm sure that people people if they know that you'll do that they'll be more careful right is that your experience they know they know that they will be called on what they did yes um, when we decide the agenda items, uh. shouldn't, shouldn't we allot time, uh? on, time also for each item? At, at least a tentative time, minimum, maximum. Yeah, because sometimes the whole agenda is we're not able to cover all the items. Oh, yes, I mean, frankly speaking, that comes to the next also, the, the facilitation. But, I mean, I've seen... <sighs> okay, look, I'm telling you. I was a guest at the um, Indian uh, RGB meeting. Now, the our Indian RGB is defunct, so we are talking about a dead entity, so we should be respectful. Uh, but I went there. First of all, uh, there was no agenda. There was no agenda. So, a big room of um, important leaders, okay, let's create an agenda. There, right there. And so then, some brainstorm. Oh, we can talk about this, we can talk about that, and we can talk about this, everybody has got their own pet ideas. This is years ago, okay, so it's not, it's years ago. Then, okay, there was a Maharaj, which is now anymore, is not anymore in his Murli Krishna. Some of you know Murli Krishna, okay. So, first agenda item, Murli Krishna. The chair allots five minutes. <laughs> See, you laugh because you know five minutes is totally unrealistic. Okay? So, there was somebody assigned to... Pro you, may be there, you may have been there, uh, Bhakti Nod Maharaj, you knew Jane. Okay, five minutes of Mur Murli Krishna, because obviously it's not controversial, so five minutes is more than enough. Uh, so, so, that, okay. And then, okay, report from a committee was supposed to be kind of some pace, pace making mission. Da, da, da. Then somebody started saying, no, but this, that, that. And that, this, and that. This, and that. It went one hour. It went one hour on one agenda item where it was supposed to be five minutes. Okay? Please, this is very important. I didn't put it as a separate thing, but it's really within this. This is very important. You, as zonal supervisor, temple president, you have the very important role of making the agenda. I mean, what are we going to work on? This is crucial. Sometimes the agenda items are frivolous. They are unimportant. They are wrong. We should not discuss this. We should not discuss this. Sometimes continental meetings, I won't tell which continent, but just recently in, in May, there was a continental meeting. Huh? You bring the GBCs, you bring everybody, and then, uh, I mean, this is my subjective opinion, but uh, you bring everybody there, spend thousands of euros to come together, this, that, and then one agenda item was, if uh, people with beards could lead kirtans or not. The whole continent, this was like one major, major issue. And it's a continent which is going through a lot of uh, changes geopolitically, economically, structurally, 
and that the top leaders of ISKCON, they go there and, and, and spend time talking if those who, which have beard can lead the curtain or not. Now, some of you may think, no, this is the most important thing because, uh, you know, it's the basis of uh, beard ashram dharma. Uh, did, did, uh, <laughs> did Raj Bihari Prabhu mention, ever mention during these couple of days the beard argument? What's a beard? This, this is a <laughs> among, uh, because what's a beard? How do you define a beard? If you <laughs> how many hair constitute a beard? Somebody has a little, no, what do you call this? Goat, goatee? Huh? Is that a beard? Or it's kind of okay? Huh? If somebody doesn't shave, you, you, know, you should shave every 12 hours or something. I don't know what's, but you know, somebody after two days, it looks like he has a beard. So, somebody after six days is still kind of freshly shaven. <laughs> And then women never have beards, so they have an advantage. Because that woman, even if she wanted to grow a beard, she couldn't. And therefore, she always can lead the kirtan. So this is a sexist type of argument. <laughs> anyway, so the whole continent comes together and talk about this. Hare Krishna. Enough said. So you have a major, because what you decide, what you decide to include in the agenda, that's a direction for your yatra, for your continent, for your nation. Hmm? So please meditate, pray, pray. Pray to the deities, pray to, to your Guru Maharaj, pray to Srila Prabhupada, pray to everybody, pray to Paramatma, please help me decide what should be discussed. And bringing people together. What should be discussed? Okay? Something that has impact, positive impact. Not just some pet, some pet, uh, what do you call it? Peeve? The peeve. Uh, pet peeve, pet, pet topic. Okay. Agenda. Everything clear? Oh, Diragnita uh, Prabhu, yes. You just mentioned this problem, and it is really a problem, especially in some parts of the world. And we as future zonal secretaries, um, we cannot always put the agenda there. And so what can we as future zonal secretaries do? And how should we behave well, if there is no agenda? And you can talk. I mean, you can talk. Uh, you can talk. Um... <sighs> Should we go to Eastern Resolve or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not as a first step, but you can talk with people. You can talk with people. You can go to the chair and say, Prabhu or Maharaj, or say, I mean, you, this is the most important thing. Or you can propose items. You follow. You may not be the chair, but you can propose items. Huh? You can say, why don't we do this and this and this? Huh? Like that. You can certainly do. We discussed before. Often we have more power than we think we have. We may not have a title huh? or stars on the shoulders, but we can talk. Why don't we discuss this or why do we discuss that? Sometimes uh, one would be labeled as a troublemaker. If you're not creating trouble, you're not creating much. Because the act of creation means there is some new situation. And some people feel challenged by new situations. Just as a default setting. You follow? So anything new, by definition, somebody will not like. But in the absolute sense, you may be more of a troublemaker if you don't say anything. Because you go along. You follow? You go along with a dysfunctional system. I give an example. I am not a voting member of the GBC nominations committee. Okay? But it, it's something very important to me. It's actually, if you ask me, not that you ask me, but if you had asked me, what is your wig, huh? the number one wig in your life of service, I would say, GBC Nominations Committee, um, producing or 
you identify new GBCs. If you ask me, that would be the number one thing. Okay? So it's very important to me. And although I'm not the chair, I'm not the convener, I'm not a member, but I am a special category, me and other devotees, who is, uh, we are like uh, consultants or something like that. So we attend all the meetings, but we don't have a vote. But I often make the agenda. I make the agenda because I'm thinking of these things and we need to talk about this and this and this and this and this. And because I do the agenda, then the chair and the convener often, they, they tend to defer to me. Like last time, we had the last meeting, in the last meeting before meeting in person in Juhu, Tuesday. Tuesday, I was not planning to facilitate the meeting, okay? Because the chair was there, the convener was there, one is a GBC, one is a Srila Prabhupada disciple, but at the beginning of the call, they asked me, you, you, you please facilitate the meeting. And I had a, a number of items, and we went through the meeting, and although I'm not even a member, I was running the meeting. Just because I was thinking about these things, you follow? So never think that because you don't have the title, you cannot influence uh, the dynamics. It's, not, it's just not like that. It just doesn't work like that. Often you can do a lot, even if you're not the chair, you're not part of the uh, executive committee, you're this or that, you're not even a voting member. But if you are allowed in that meeting, you are there for a reason, to contribute. It's not just a social type of gathering or a, a, a badge of prestige. Oh, you have been allowed in the room. You know, it's, 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 